Look like they're coming from your bank. The I-Team today finding a new twist to the scam that is making the calls more convincing. Consumer investigator Jason Oles has the warning for us. Jason. Judy Robb, you may have heard of spoofed calls where the caller ID has the name of a company and a fake number. But what if you got a call like that which also included your bank's real number? The scam cost one local woman $2,000. Today, they called me four times. And it's not Chase. It's not Chase. Naperville resident Amy Skinger Bird is getting flooded with fake calls. The caller ID says Chase, the phone numbers even belong to Chase. In fact, when we called the numbers back, we got Chase Bank. This call will be monitored. But that doesn't mean the real Chase is calling her. A bank spokesperson says scammers can spoof the caller ID and even make it look like Chase's real number is calling you. Chase confirmed with the I-team that the scam call in question, seen here on Skinger Bird's call log, did not come from them. She's trying to request $2,000. What we need to do is we need to stop these transactions. She says the caller said he was trying to protect her from fraud and knew some of her transaction history. Experts say some criminals can get that information by stealing bank statements or hacking into emails. They could also buy your personal information on the dark web to then help them convince a bank representative they are you to obtain transaction history. Things are getting so sophisticated. Right. And they have just enough information on you to make it believable. Correct. She says what she didn't know is that the scammers were trying to access her account. They eventually convinced her to read them authentication codes sent to her phone, which gave them access to her account and allowed them to send themselves $2,000 through the Zelle payment feature on Chase. If someone asks you for codes, do not provide any codes. Go straight to the bank. Chase Bank says if you share information with a stranger, you are not protected under the bank's fraud protection agreement. Chase added these types of scams are heartbreaking. We urge all consumers to protect their account by never sharing personal information with someone they don't know. Banks will never call, text, or email asking customers to send money, but scammers will. Skinger Bird filed a police report and is now now working with Naperville detectives to try to find the scammers. $2,000 out of my account, where'd it go to? It didn't disappear, it went to someone. Chase says it will cooperate with police and reminds customers that legitimate representatives will never call you and ask you for any information. Rob, Judy, if you think you are the victim of fraud, Call the number on the back of the card. Hang up right away. Call this number. It's always the safest way to go. These scams can be so convincing. Oh, it's man. so scary right now. So sophisticated. Yeah, it would be hard not to fall for that. I know. All right. Thanks, Jason, for that warning. If you